What's going on, Game Dad fam? I'm Josh, the Game Dad, and this is more Super Mario RPG. So when we last left off, we had beaten the Mega Smilax and discovered this uh, road to infinity, if you will. So let us make our egress, which is something that I have my uh, five-year-old and six-year-old say all the time. Don't judge me. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty little birdie man with a spear. Oh, it's time to battle. You know, I am gonna change things up here a bit. But not yet. Mostly because I'm actively in a fight. So, there's that. I'm actually about to make the game a bit harder for myself, but I don't really care. I'm trying to provide some... Some mashoosh, if you will. Now, you may notice we're going upwards. We're going into the sky. Why does that matter? Well, I'll tell you why it matters. It matters because there's someone on our team who wants to check that out. And frankly, I don't... Bowser's not going to be useful at the end of the game, so I'd rather him try and be useful now than later. Now, he's got 157 attack, which is a real drop down from Gino. Oh, wait, Jinx Belt! So now Bowser got 184 attack, so right around what Gino had. And 118 defense, uh, Gino had 186 and 100. So, obviously, you know, roughly the same. He provides different magic. I say it'll be about the same, just without the ability to Geno boost, which will be a loss, but it's fine. Uh, Mallow, on the other hand, is the one who I definitely gotta give the Scrooge ring to. And he's got his ribbit stick so that he's okay. Kind of the same thing as Princess Peach, really. Uh,. So, again, kind of negligible across. The main thing is that with Bowser, we now have the ability to fear enemies, poison them, or just, you know, Rock Slide doesn't have much use. And Mallow has uh, a snow damage-based move to use against all enemies. So. Okay. Uh, the Bright Card. Blah, blah, blah. Stucky Jewel, Rock Candy, Freshen Up. I'm trying to see, because I'm going to need, uh... I'm going to need some space here shortly. I mean, I have Carol Carol Colas. I could just use them. That's, technically speaking, an option. Uh, so, and here in the game, they said, Hey, you know what we need? We need platforming. Okay. It's going to go magnificently, guys. Yeah, oh, nope. Sometimes the coins aren't where it looks like they are. Also, I have 999 coins, so you know, there's that. I didn't mean to do- Oh, it's a big bugger! It's a heavy trooper! It's a fat boy slim! Oh, I did not time that correctly. But, Bowser is a tough boy. Tough boys go hard, as they say. I don't know who says that, but... All right, Mallow. Show us what you got. Snowy! Boom. Good damage. Ready to launch. Not for long. Oh, wow. Why can't I not get the timing on that? Heavy troopers are... They are thick boys. Wide boys... Full plump boys. There ain't no other word for it. They're good old jolly fellows. No, no, no! Ha ha! Okay. Not really sure what the exact jump arc for that is, but there it is. It's right there. So there you go. Okay, well, in the decision between get into a fight or get a chest, uh, I think we all know which one I'm going to pick here, folks. Okay. Yeecho! Ha-ha! <laughs> Froggy coins! Or that. So, there we go. There it is. 
Now you're seeing some of that power coming right on back. And you know what? I know Heavy Troopa is a is a thick boy, wide boy, tough boy, but he doesn't have a lot he can do against special attacks. And even though it's just jumping, it's still a special attack. Okay. Energizer does what now? Because I legit can't remember. Uh, raises allies' battle power during battle. Power Blast raises parties. Okay, so Energizer is just a single target attack boost. It's functionally worthless, and I'm at 999 coins, so I don't care enough to have it take up an item slot. Oh, good gravy. So, one thing I will address, there's been a bit of, uh... Because this episode, I'm kind of slamming in here. I realized I got off on my recording schedule. So, uh, okay. Which way do I want to go first? Let me double check here. Okay, so I can't go to the hot springs as yet. I believe this takes me to the world map, and this takes me to the city part. Yes, this is Nimbus Land. Huh. These people all look similar to someone I know. Who's this babe? That's Valentina. She's the next bad guy. King Nimbus's condition is growing worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. We found our missing prince. Prince Mallow. I'm gonna let this moment speak for itself. First of all, whoever it is is too stupid to come out. Second of all, here is Prince Mallow. Ha! <sighs> that just makes me want like a Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiast with like a like I said, like a bound bump jump bump 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 That was accurate, don't judge me. Or like a curb your enthusiasm like that. He seems pretty 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 good. Okay. Um so, as I said, I'm cramming this episode in. Um, long story short, uh, something recently that happened that I just kind of want to address as being kind of crummy. Some of you are out of Loot Crate. It's one of those, one of the many sort of like, sign up, give us money, we send you a box of crap every month kind of things. I, I agree to become his queen. Okay. I have several issues, but we're not going to get into furry-based discussions today, folks. <laughs> There's a prince with the same name as me! That's the other action I You do realize it's you. Okay. First thing, in here, item shop. Do you have anything? Probably not. Oh, so then why is that? Well, first, they do actually have some items. I just don't know that any of them are worth it. But! We're gonna buy... I think the Mega Glove is worse. I don't know what's better or worse. So we're gonna find out. Mega Glove. Oh, it's actually a slight improvement. There you go. His spiked link is still his best bet for now. The rivet stick is... Okay, so the sticky glove is better. Double punch gets beat out by the hand cannon, I think. Yep. And then the war fan is definitely going to be better than the parasol. Okay, so cool. Oh, shoot. Forgot to buy the armor. Uh, so, uh, loot crate. Oh, buy our stuff and you get things and stuff. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, they recently pulled, like, the cruddiest move you can pull, which is that they basically were like, hey guys, 
we're gonna fire a whole bunch of our employees. And this way, and then we'll turn around and sell the company, and in doing so, make it look like our numbers are much better than they are. That ain't good luck. That is, in fact, a very, a very bad luck. And it's like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be some sort of, you know, whatever. But like, I'm getting rid of those. I don't care about them at this point. Um, it's, it's not good. Like, for obvious reasons. My problem, however, is the people who turned around and they're like, well, I like getting my loot box because I like the cool stuff that comes in it. So, you know, if it means that, you know, this, they'll be able to keep being, then sometimes you gotta, you gotta break an omelet with a big, break an egg with an omelet. Omelet eggs. Okay, kind of fell apart at the end there, but you get my drift. Now, here's my thing. So, why did I come in here other than items? Well... I know there's one up here. I just know- Oh, there's one in here, at the least. I know there is. I remember it. I know it. I feel it! Oh god, is, am I really that wrong? Ugh. Ha ha! I knew I was right. I could have sworn there was one in there. Um. Long story short. Don't be that guy. Let me run across the wall here. Why? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Is it not yet? Okay. Not yet. This is for later. Remember that. Later. I think probably in the next episode or the episode after that will that matter. Oh, here's a cloud platform of nothing. Again. Later. Um. Don't be that guy. Is the bottom line. Oh, look. Look at all this stuff. Look at. Look. It's Mallow! That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad! And also you! And so the long story short is... It is you! It's been so long! Bye! You become a splendid young prince! I mean, it's a Square Enix game. Of course he turned out to be royalty. Come on, guys. Get it together. You're better than that. Uh, so, the long and short of it is... Man, there is... I get it. We all want things. We want our things. We want to we wanna get stuff. We want our things when we want them. And sometimes it feels like, you know, damn the consequences... The human cost is far greater. Not to mention, let's just be frank, Loot Crate is filled with a bunch of crap. <laughs> it's a bunch of pointless baubles. You may happen to like the stuff that's inside, but none of it's necessary. It's not like, it's not like it's like people are getting fired. Okay, so here's the plan. He is gonna make us look like a statue and sneak us in. And that's how we're gonna get into the castle. Uh, it's not like it's like food and required food at that it's you know it sucks and a pin of minor sub character B from an anime you haven't watched and a pen holder individual pen holder and the plastic wrapper that would have come on a cup if the cup was in the box Valentina's nephew, Mariota! Like Marcus Mariota? He's the quarterback in the in the National Football League. Tennessee Titans? Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans! Pretty sure. There's no person named Mariota. Not true. I just addressed Marcus Mariota. Starting quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. Thank you, Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Also! Who the hell is this guy? It's called A Plumber's Lament. 
Observe the thick mustache covering the sad, innocent smile of a simple fool. And the sideburns convey his blue collar roots. And the legs, well defined, strong, the legs of the masses. The type of legs you can jump with, even. Hmm. And I've got to say, this is spectacular! Yes, I am indeed a work of art. Okay, here we get a little minigame situation, more or less. Uh, it's uh, the same kind of thing as what happens back in Booster Castle. They use it twice in this game. So, you'll see shortly. Here's the warning of what's about to happen. Dodo gets mad at Valentina and doesn't like her all that much. How is this? How is the Mario statue getting pulled alongside that Valentina statue, you ask? Yes. That's the answer. Okay. Okay, I'm free! So, you can save here. Which I will. I'm not gold! I'm gold again. Go go! To display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster. With your beak. By pecking them. Repeatedly. So, you saw what Dodo did earlier. Jump to avoid getting pecked. It's that simple. What's cool is he does it to the beat. Like, that's not right. I know I pecked this gay thing. <laughs> he tried the good old fashioned run around through the nothingness technique. One of my favorites. I do that all the time. I literally just transport through the, the darkness of nothing. You only get that feather if you do what I just did, as opposed to actually fighting him. What does the feather do? Well, I'm, let me take that off so you can probably see. The feather! Defense and magic defense. I believe it also boosts speed, I want to say? Let me check Bowser's speed real quick without anything. He's going to be slow as heck. 20... With the feather, it is... Forty, yeah. So it's actually, it's basically the upgrade to any for anyone using the Zoom shoes at this point. I'm not, but if I was, it would be great. I like jump shoes too much. Really, I could go ahead and... Because I don't think there's going to be anything here that I can't jump on. And it will make Mario just... Just pummel people. Mm, I won't do it yet. Because I like to stand behind what I say. And what I said before was... I have those spot welded on him. And I ain't no lie! Ain't gonna be finna be no lie! You heard? Anyways. Absolutely exhausted! And time to time to statue it up again. Hate being a guard. Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina's statues every single day. Ha! Here's how I do it. Stab, stab, stab. Beep. Hey, tell me something. Do statues move? No. Slatchos don't move. Then explain this! 
It's one of those high tech or live black realistic. Well, let's get out of here. Okay. So this is the way out, which I'm obviously not. Oh, I can. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, you can now freely come and go from here. Don't listen to me. What do I know? No! Okay, okay, okay. Sugar! I can't go there. At least not just yet. That's brutal when you realize what it actually is. Mega recover! Okay. Chee! Chee! You see how big his hand gets? Same thing's gonna happen here! <laughs> Poof. Poof. Like I said, brutal. Also, so that's how defense works in this game. Like, essentially, it shaves off a specific amount of damage instead of being incremental. So that's why Bow Mario and Mallow don't deal a lot, and Bowser just obliterates the thing. Is HP... Yeah, plus 4 HP. I believe at level 20, and don't quote me, but I believe it's level 20 where the game is just like... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, and essentially it just completely shifts, and... No matter what, your attack and defense boost levels, even, are just one point. So at that point, you just, like, pick whatever. I could be wrong. They might go- they might be two points, but I know- I know your defense- your- your growth slows. Static -y! Oh shoot, Mallow's dead. Well, I need to get used to that anyways. So, I'm going to keep on going. Okay. Kill the pinwheel. And then we're going to jump on this thingy. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot that these jellyfish thingies counter with Blizzard when you use special attacks. Don't care. Okay. Mallow! It's gonna take some getting used to not having Peach around. I will say that much. Okay. Dang, it's hard to time that defense. So, why come through here, you ask? Well, I don't have a good answer yet. But. Doesn't matter how far in we get, I'm gonna be boogieing out to that level up theme every single time. Oh, oh, that's right. Item box. Here comes a good old cheesy McWide boy! I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, now here's the real thing. Ugh. Toadstool's getting primo level ups and I got her on the bench. Got a buck twenty of HP. Yeah, I can't actually get up there just yet. So it was really just for the flower. But I got it! So that's good. Okay. Uh, I am definitely gonna save that flower box, cause let's be frank, I'm gonna go through a lot more. FP in this one than I would normally because of having to rely on HP rain. So we're just gonna address it as necessary. Alright. Focus on the muckle. I could have jumped and been fine. I don't think he would have survived, but it's fine. Now I take one static E and call it a day.
So, coming through here. I always check. I know that it's the same at each level up. Just bear with me, guys. You know who I Oh, That's right, these thingies. Joffle is sleeping. Well, I'm gonna be... Shaman! That's a shaman, by the way, but... It's funnier if you say shaman. Mega recover! I'm gonna mega jump on your head. That may not have been the most creative thing to say, but I'm... I'm gonna say it. He's awake now! Oh no! I live in fear! The tomato with the fork thing is scary in and of itself, but... It's not scary for statistical reasons. Ooh, double the XP! Good adventures go left! I know that good adventures go left, guys. I just know it. I've learned that principle. Oh god! Jeez, they're everywhere! Oh god in heaven! Oh, okay, actually there is something here though. Okay. Dang it! Stabs! I mean, this is getting kind of brutal, to be fair. I wonder how much Thunderbolt will do. I'm curious to see if it has any worth at this stage. Okay, so it actually does have cleanup worth to save me, you know, 1 FP instead of 6 FP. Okay, now... Did you see what happened, though? Right before that. Nope. I'm gonna terrorize him. I should've used poison gas. You guys haven't seen that yet. Next time. I'll do that next time. Joffle's awake now. Well, he gotta go. Because he's the only one who's not weak. I mean... You know what I mean. Oh, that's annoying. But they did it on the one guy who they should not have done it to. Go. Oh, Mario, you can only jump now. Oh, no. Diamond Saw. Ooh. I never liked Diamond Saw. That's... That's a hard hit. That's a... That's an unnecessary hit. Ow. Let's thunderbolt it up! Oh god. Shaman took three damage. Well, we're not hurting any shamans with magic. Shamans. But shamans can't do much against that. Okay. So you may have noticed. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? It's a frog queen. It make me happy to remember some of these things. I always had a particular inclination towards the the the, the Nimbus Land segment of the game. Because of certain things that happen here. Oh, what's all these peeps? Okay. Take this. A flower jar. Ooh. I gotta get rid of something. I will get rid of- I'll get rid of that freshen up. I'm not gonna use it, let's just be honest. Uh, I will use the flower jar first. Boom! 69! Yeah! 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 Yep. I'm an adult. Alright guys, listen. Sure. Here you go. Don't tell me what you're doing. It. The castle key. So, I am going to save here. Newest land I knew was going to be split into two sections. So when we come back, we're going to finish exploring the castle and probably have a showdown with someone doing something at some point about something. 
I, I don't want to give everything away. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Shout out below if you have any team configurations I haven't done yet that you want to see before the game ends. And otherwise, I'll catch you later, Game Dad fam. Bye.